Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to evaluate variable expressions with fractions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Evaluate x plus 3 when x equals a negative 1 third and x equals a negative 3 fourths. Let's start with part A, when x is a negative 1 third. I take my expression, x plus 1 third, and I'm going to substitute a negative 1 third in for x. Negative 1 third now plus a 1 third. Well, a negative plus the positive of the same number, negative 1 third plus a positive 1 third, that's just a 0. Not too bad. All right, part B, a little more difficult here. Same process. x plus 1 third, we rewrite the expression. We're going to take this negative 3 fourths and plug it in for x. Well, from there, okay, negative 3 fourths plus a 1 third. Now, we don't have a common denominator here, so we define one. Well, 4 and 3 both can be multiplied to equal a 12. So we take the 3 fourths, or negative 3 fourths, and if I multiply that 4 by a 3, I get a 12. So I take the numerator and multiply it by 3 as well plus one third. To make three a 12, we multiply that by four. Multiply the numerator by four. From there, well, we simplify some. We have a, well, three times three is a nine, so we have a negative, put it up top, negative nine over a 12, plus one times four is a four, over three times four is a 12. Now negative nine twelfths plus a four twelfths, has a common denominator of a 12, and we have negative nine plus a four in the numerator. From there, negative nine plus a four is a negative five. So we have negative five twelfths left over, and there it is. We simplified, or we evaluated x plus one third when x equals negative one third, or x plus one third, yeah, when x equals negative one third, and we got a zero, and when x is a negative three fourths, we got a negative five twelfths. I hope you learned something here on how to evaluate variable expressions with fractions. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.